and trip on your way back. I won't be bad. I'll just let her sign it. Well, it doesn't matter. It's... Okay. We're all doing other things while you're talking. So. <laughs> is, is that going? I can't tell. Nothing's going. Nothing's going. I can push the little it. counters aren't ticking along. <clears throat> All right, I'd like to call to order the uh, November meeting of the Harwich Cemetery Commission at uh, 9 o'clock on November 8th at the Community Center. Um, so first item is the acceptance of the minutes. As you can see how brief the minutes are now. Where are the minutes? Oh, there they are, right on top. <laughs> It was a new format. I didn't recognize it. Was the it was the new format yeah. you wanted me to use. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I like the format. <laughs> so unless we vote on something, we don't have to put the, if anyone wants to see what the discussion is, I guess we can log in and watch the. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah. So. Everything pretty much goes unanimously with our small crowd. So um, do we have a motion to accept the minutes? Uh, yes. I'll make the motion to accept them. I guess I have to second it, and that would make it unanimous <laughs> in Steve's absence. If everything's oh, hold okay. on a minute, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't think Cindy can accept the minutes from October the 5th because she wasn't there. So I so think we have to Cindy postpone has to yeah, postpone the 5th. So we're just voting on the minutes from July 11th. So July 11th. Cindy makes motion. So, yes. And I'll second those. it, and it's unanimous. Can I ask a question? Sure. If I've read them, why couldn't I accept them? Um, because you weren't there at the time of the meeting. I don't think to you ver can. To ver verify, verify, I guess, the, to the validate thing. that gotcha. the minutes are Thank correct. You. Okay. <laughs> I do like this format. It's short and sweet. Oh, yeah, and yeah. It seems like other commissions do similar yeah. things, so I think we're fine. Oh, good deal. Um, it's easier to ask for forgiveness and to beg for forgiveness than to ask for me. <laughs> uh, all right, correspondence from uh, town hall and associations with other uh, businesses? Yeah, I didn't um, really get many correspondence. Um, the only thing that is going to be coming up, which um, is going to be our budget's going to be due. So I know that we have to add the fees in at that point. So Remember, we need to update the fees and put that in our budget yeah, message. Uh -huh. So that was the only correspondence that we got, that the budget is going to be coming up, and um, that uh, we want to work on that. So at the next meeting, well, I'll give you a, the draft budget for you guys to look over, and then you guys can see if you need to add anything else. But in the budget message, I actually am requesting, and I did talk to uh, Joe, um, he said that I could try to put in for a part-time secretarial staff, Good. and um, I'm going to put in for that, and I want to also add the fees. Okay, very anything? good. Yeah, <clears throat> and that'll help with minutes if there's something that we need to expand. Okay. To explain something for you know a permanent record. Good. All right. So, um, any other? So no other correspondence, huh? including this no. one. We're going to put this with the veterans. Um, yeah, that's all going to be with the veterans. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So do you have anything? No. No. All right. Then we'll move on to uh, old business, which is the continuing saga, the veterans memorial, <laughs> which is almost finished. So uh, I can't Speaking wait till Saturday. <laughs> Let me forget that later. Okay. We have to do this. Okay. Um, so uh, I was down at the uh, cemetery yesterday, uh, Oscar from Federal Electric uh, finished wiring both the panel and the gazebo as well as the lights for the flag. So, and then uh, Warren went back and um, just fixed the sod because they had to move a little bit of the sod while, yeah. while they did it because they had to dig a trench. Um, and then Warren sent me back a message later saying that the lights look amazing. So. Yeah, we right. dodged um, a bullet. Did you get the whole story with that? No. They discontinued the lighting fixtures that, that we, we originally approved way back ages ago. <laughs> um, so then Sean Libby and, um, you know, the whole DPW and myself were trying to find lights that would physically fit yeah. in the holes. We already cut, and we actually did find uh, lights, and uh, 
we received them on Monday, oh, and then goodness. Oscar put them in on Tuesday, which was very exciting. And who made the special trim for them? They didn't really need special oh, they trim. Didn't. Okay. No, no. We thought it was, it's like literally they came and they were five inches, and the coal was cut five inches. But he said that the, when they put the foam to seal in the, for the water, mm, it was just enough. <clears throat> Good. Yeah. So they thought it was perfect. We thought it was a little bit too small, but they were like, nope, it's good. I was like, okay. He said, better hmm. better a little small than a little too big. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I get this was critical because otherwise the American flag would have to come down every night. Yeah, 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 definitely. And we did not want to do that, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great that that uh, was completed. Um, so everything's a go. Um, I did uh, get in. A um, message from Mark, who's on FinCom, and uh, he is going to be doing the sound um, system. Actually, I was at my first Yarmouth Town Hall last night, and he was actually doing the sound for the Yarmouth Town Meeting. So, um, who's this, Mark? Who? It's A M E R E S. I I'll give you all of his information so you can put it in there. So he does sound. He actually. Uh, I believe he works at the Upper Cape Tech, and he's the technology person. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get all the information yeah. for you. I mean, but he's on our fake comm. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Well, since we're speaking of that, I really don't want to leave anybody out. Right. So, on the in the program, did you print it? I did. It's the last page. Because I had already cut it. <clears throat> all right. So, it, it's printed. It looks funny because... To print two pages per side and get numbers so we know everything goes the right way. We have to, it's, yep. it's formatted like this, but yeah. it won't be look like that. I think. Yeah, it has to be shrunk yeah, yeah. and then it'll print this way. Yeah, this is just So when it folds, this will be over here and yeah. the grateful appreciation is on the back and then this goes in the middle. Very good. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is there, so using this page here, is mm -hmm. there anybody, and I'm going to add him, I'll hit Mark there somewhere, mm -hmm. anybody I forgot? I don't think so, so I, I'll send you the stuff on Oscar, so this is Oscar Farrell, oh. F-A-R-R-E-L-L, -L. and he's the electrical contractor. Oh, it's his. Actually, I think I have that on another version. Oh, okay. Because you spelled it for me. Mm -hmm. F A R R E L L. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that's on my uh, my thing. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so, how many of these people should be verbally? So. I mean, I could be up there for. I know. <laughs> so what we should do is the day of the. Um, We'll see who shows up, and what I could do, we could have another copy of this, and I'll highlight the people that are in attendance. Well, I'm going to have my thing that yeah. I'm going to, so that's all we need to, I mean, I don't want to leave somebody out. Right. And somebody's going to show up, and because I'm not really political, I'm going to go. I don't, you don't you. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, we will. Um... Like, I've already decided I'm not going to read off the selectmen. I'm just going to thank the select board. Right. And, and then you're introducing Don anyways. Yeah, um, so, I mean, Art, and I am. I do want to acknowledge Zaros, uh -huh. just because of his position uh -huh. in the world, you know. But Art and Joe will be introduced by Chip. Right. And, uh, I'm gonna, so, and then I'm going to do Shawnee, and uh, then I, I don't think I need to do Kathy and Mary. I think I can just thank the Community Preservation Committee and the mm -hmm. Harbor's Historical Commission. Yep. I do want to highlight Duncan. Yeah. But he, I Googled it. He doesn't really have a position now. He's just involved. No, he's the chair. Of what? Of the planning board of the town of college. Oh, but the planning board's not really involved and he's on the, in and this. He's, and he's on the Historic Commission. But he is involved in getting us a lot of donations for right but so that's why I wanted to but yeah. I don't want he doesn't have a title he does have a title but it's right it's like Steve introducing himself and in, down at the mall I, right. chair, chairman <laughs> of the cemetery commission was like yeah okay mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So he is going to be um, getting us donations from a whole bunch for, well, the, yeah, for so, the phase two, which is so, I mean, he... But he is on the historical commission. He is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't have to bring up the planning thing. Okay. Okay. Um, and I think I did email you a little bit of info on him, but... Well, I guess... I, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll go through it again. If, well, if if I get blabbing too much... No, 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 but I, yeah, I, I get it. You yeah. can't. You can't. No, because right. we want to kind of, we want to yeah. raise the flags so, at 11. Well, I don't know. Well, 11-ish. But I don't want to have to stand around and go... Right, no, no, no. no. Hang on, Chip. Got about no. eight minutes. No. So add <laughs> Lynn. And no doubt Chip could tell a bunch of flying stories. <laughs> yeah, he that could. That would be hysterical, but... So yeah, the target's eleven, but I don't mm -hmm. without a rehearsal. Right. Yeah. We, we can't do that. We did do a run through with the flags. We had um, yeah, it was like six of us down there. Yeah. Um, so we learned how to clip on the flags, raise the flags, put everything back into the yeah uh, pole. How do we op how we open up the poles? Yeah. Do you think it's Chip wanted had suggested we put the flags on chairs? So that people can walk up to their flag and the pole and pick them up. I'd rather hand the responsible party the, the flag. flag because at the intro comments, I'm making a deal, a big deal. When I introduce Zaros and yeah. thank him for being here, yeah. it's going to end with, and he is escorting our POW MIA flag. Yeah. Because as soon as I see the man, I'm handing it to him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lose this. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which. Any thoughts on if it's so windy? Sh those are very lightweight flags. Yeah, yeah they super are. Super light nylon. Yeah. yeah. I think so, it's better to hand it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the only part that I'm anxious about is, the is the getting the people. So Chip is going to introduce each party that is going up there, but all at once. Mm -hmm. He's just going to read the list, and as their names are read, they're just going to walk up. So he isn't going to say, raise your <coughs> the oh. oh, yes, he is. So, he, if so you first, say. So look, so first, so, all right, so I'm going to set the tone with this thing I wrote about the oath of office. Mm -hmm. It's the enlisted version. Then it's no, is it the Boy Scouts? Are they in? Have you yes. talked to them? Yes, they are. Last after last night? Yes. Okay. So, and I have to get, get names today, but. Yeah, I need the two more Eagle Scouts. Mm -hmm. So. After I do that, I'm going to say it's just a little bit about the oath and why we're here. And that's where I'm going to thank the veterans and their families. And then I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, the, the color guard of the of Boy Scout Troop 76. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say under Scoutmaster so-and-so. Right. I'm not going to read the boys' names. And then hopefully... Tom's ready, and I'll look at Tom. Tom's going to play the National em Emblem March, which I know you've heard. Mm -hmm. I can't get it out of my head today for some reason. <laughs> and then this, the color guard will come in maybe 100 yards, and then we just got to figure out where we're going to put them so they know. Yeah. And then hopefully they do a wheel and just mm -hmm. go to parade rest. <clears throat> and then... Um, and then after, when they're there, after they're there, then I'm going to do the, the greeting, thank you all for coming. This complete, almost completes phase one, which is the <laughs> memorial. We still have some landscaping, hardscaping to do, but <clears throat> um, this spring we begin phase two, which is the Walk of Remembrance, which will be starting where that gentleman is in the red jacket or somebody standing about there, yeah. and we'll proceed northbound on the east side of the cemetery with mon and then I'm going to talk about the two monuments that have already been approved and funded yeah <clears throat> and then that's when I want to get back to this list and highlight some people mm -hmm. on the list and then thank the band how does Tom pronounce his last name Jonky Janik I think it is I know. Okay. Shawnee knows for sure. I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, let's. We need to know that because I don't want to <laughs> say it wrong incorrectly. And then the singers. Um, this thing is gone. I've already moved this is up to the top. And then the scouts. No girl scouts at all. 
There's Girl Scouts in the lower oh, troop. In the, boys, in the Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts, yeah. But they're not Girl Scouts. They, I don't think so. I think they're just Scouts. Are there Girl Scouts anymore? There are Girl Scouts. They are in Chatham, and they're going to the Chatham Day okay. thing. So um, in the lower, uh, like the yeah. elementary school kids, it's boys and girls. And then... Then they split off when they get. Well, well, I, we'll um, have to try to work uh, on that for next year. But I can add lib it, but yeah. I, then I'm just going to thank the Boy Scouts of Troop 76. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, and then the people of Harwich for approving this unanimously. And then from there, I'm going right into Chip's introduction, which is a couple of sentences on mm -hmm. his career. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he really had an amazing career. <clears throat> um, and then. Mm -hmm. Chip gets it. So if and and now this is, I think it's a good idea to have Chip do this. Yeah. I I just hope he we have to get him the final version of this so that he's ready for it. Okay. You know, and if he bails and doesn't want to do that, then we'll make him a speaker, and I guess I'll just have to keep going. But yeah. Anyway, and then I'm going to head to the flags. Okay. And maybe you can go to the flags too. After I embarrass you for the project. <laughs> <laughs> Don't embarrass me too hard, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, so then back to your question. So um, Chip is going to welcome everybody, and he's going to do a thing on the history of Veterans Day. Yeah. 11th Day, 11th Hour. And then he'll introduce uh, Joe McAleer, mm -hmm. who'll do the invocation. And then he'll introduce... Mr. Don Howell, Howell, who will do the proclamation, and he'll have a few words to say. Oh, I take that back. And that, that's, then he does the history of veterans' day okay. to again set the tone. Okay. So we go from public stuff back to why we're there. And then after he finishes that, he, he's, for some version, he will go, you know, I'd like to introduce our flag bearers today. And if they would, he should say, and they, if they should, would they please proceed to the circle? If they're not. So he'll introduce everybody that is raising the flags. Okay. The U.S. flag and the POW flag, and it's not a Girl Scout; it's another Eagle Scout for the POW flag. Yeah. Cindy, these things are huge. The U.S. flag is huge. It's awesome. probably so. as big as this table, almost. But it's a handful, and it's going to be breezy. Yeah. So you've got the U.S. flag, clip clip. Then the POW flag, clip clip. And after, so they can be setting up to do all this as he reads off these people. And then he's gonna, he should say, ladies and gentlemen, please stand if you're able and remove your caps with the raising of the flag, at which point he should look at Tom and Tom's thumbs up and his trumpeter, um, Mark uh, Prattis, who's a Marine, former Marine, awesome. is going to do To the Colors, which is the dun 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 um, So the flag will go up. Followed by, um, then he should lead everybody in the Pledge of Allegiance. And then the uh, select choir is going to sing the national anthem. If people join in, fine. That's so as, as but no each, band for that. So as each flag goes up, though, the band will be playing. Well, hang on. So we're not there yet. Okay. Then he's going to say, and now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we will be raising the each individual flag of the branches of the United States military. And he's got to go, Tom, Tom nods at him. He's got to look at me or you in the circle that they're hooked up, ready to go. And then we have to brief these flag people, which is another reason why I want to give them the flags yeah. and say, okay, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to print out a little piece of paper that says, this is, this is how it goes. Yeah. So when the first, so he looks at Tom, thumbs up with me, then he should say, ladies and gentlemen, the flag of the United States Army. And when he says Army, Tom should start playing the Quezon song, yeah. at which point the flag people should slowly, it, the flags go up in six seconds, I was counting, yeah. that's why I wasn't playing with the flag, yeah. I was watching everybody raise their flag and doing an average. <laughs> so up they go. They have, each song is about 30 seconds to get to a good cutoff point, you know, like the Air Force song, or, you know, or 
the anchors away with the navy yeah once you get to that the familiar yeah the change in chorus verse stanza not a musician that's it and i tom and i sent all of this to tom so he knows right you got to play this much and online on youtube it's like 30 seconds and this is 35 and the long one is the coast guard semper paratus and that's like 40 seconds that's fine so the flags will go up slowly the music plays the music stops he looks at tom there may be a page change you know yeah tom looks at chip nods chip finds you or me we give him a thumbs up or yeah. nod at him ladies and gentlemen the flag of the united states marine corps marine corps hymn starts playing the marine flag starts going up. and we we do that six times all the way around to the coasties mm -hmm. okay and then when that's done, then he can say, please be seated if they brought chairs. And then he introduces Art. Art speaks. So when he's done, he introduces Representative Zaros. He speaks. Now, hopefully, and that's another reason I hope Tom's there early. So after Zaros speaks, when he says thank you and everybody applauds, when the applause stops, I mean, if I was Cecil B. DeMille, facing the other direction, the bugler plays taps, so it's muted. When he stops, the first piper, I had his name somewhere, it's online at home. Yeah. Did he's we figure out what he's going to play? Um, he can play, do you mind if he plays going home? Have you listened to it? Oh, wait, I thought he wanted to play he, the, the eaglets. Oh, the eaglets, oh yeah. Now that's long, so I don't think you should play the whole thing. Okay. Mostly because unless you are Celtic, <laughs> more than two minutes of bagpipe music, people go, oh, it's like fingernails on a blackboard. I love it. But, yeah, I you know. do too. Um, so he, but he could play the first minute or two. Going home is a two minute song. Okay. So, so about two minutes. About two minutes, yeah. And... And then Chip should say, really appreciate everybody coming. I would like to invite uh, Joe MacLear for back up for a benediction. Joe comes up, says the benediction. When would, when, when is the um, what the acapella, well the select choir singing? They are singing. Um, they sing "America the Beautiful" after the last after the Coast Guard flag goes up. Okay. And see, it says in yellow. Oh, yeah, invite. Yeah the audience to join in okay um so joe does the benediction at which point the other bagpiper can play amazing grace mm -hmm. and again it'd be nice if they were and towards the woods or over there yeah assuming i'm looking at the flags i'm at the gazebo looking if they were if that person was behind them but i don't know how we could okay. choreograph that okay because that way it's and yeah. just... I mean, there's nothing like a bagpipe echoing through the woods and, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. stuff. Um, and when Amazing Grace is done, um, it, I, this has changed. So we get Maybe take... it's on mine, this has yeah. changed. So take this out? No, 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 don't take it out. But it's, um, I changed the wording to, um, um, so it should, should say, uh, Troop 76, post the colors. Or retire the colors. Mm -hmm. And he should look at Tom again. And Tom is going, because it's not the Marines, which is why it said Semper Fidelis there. Mm -hmm. And you'd recognize that song if we had a plan. But yeah. um, since it's not the Marines, which is what they march off to, mm -hmm. um, he is just going to play the National Emblem March again as the color guard goes whichever way we want him to go mm -hmm. for 100 yards. And then Chip's going to say, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. We appreciate your help and support. Have a wonderful day. At which point Tom's going to jump into <laughs> Stars and Stripes Forever because it's upbeat. So we went, we welcomed everybody. Then we were kind of solemn, raising the flags and dedicating them. And then we had art speech. We had, well, we had the meaning of Veterans Day. We had art speech, whatever he's going to talk about, being a Vietnam War veteran. And then we have Zaros, which is his speech is hopefully about sacrifice. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody knows that, it's him. Yeah. And then we had uh, taps and two rather somber bagpipe songs. But then the Boy Scouts march off and Chip being an upbeat kind of guy, thanks everybody for coming and he'll have, I'm sure, the appropriate things to say. And then Stars and Stripes Forever, which is a really upbeat yeah. kind of song. And they'll play it at least once through, maybe twice. It's up to Tom and his boys, the gang. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I will get you the two Pipers' names. Well, I have one. Okay. You gave me the first one, the guy that wants to do the mm -hmm. Eaglets song. Okay. All right. Which I never heard of, but yeah. yeah. And I'll do. I'll send you the other one. Yeah. So I mean, he we was my one. first one actually. So now I have a spreadsheet now that I keep. Uh, contacts. All my contacts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that next year so it'll be easy. So the hard part right now is we've got a lot of coordination. Yeah. Yeah. That. Again, without a rehearsal, mm -hmm. oh. we kind of have to. I mean, I'll if if I have time tomorrow or so. I think Cindy's out tomorrow, so Friday. I'll try and type up some stuff, and I, I don't. I only need a copy per each person, yeah. but I'll try and do something little so they go. This is your job today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not perfect, don't sweat it. <coughs> Excuse just, me. Just do your best. You know. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the flyer that has gone out. Yes. So it's gone out a whole bunch of places, and I am talking to the women's club tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow morning, um, I have also I have talked at the women's breakfast. I have talked at the board of selectmen. I have talked at the CPC. Um, a couple other places I'm sure I'm forgetting, yeah. <laughs> but I tell everyone at lunch, and um, and everyone that I run into so uh, there's a lot of people who have reached out to me that are already going and yeah. there's a lot of people involved so they've told a lot of people but yeah. the uh, police mm -hmm. department is also going to put out their electronic sign oh, nice. and it, and it so that people know that it's at evergreen and then um, it's already in, been in the newspaper that the location mm -hmm. has moved because somebody came out to me and they said oh so i see you moved your location yeah and i said yes and he said i'm thrilled because i live near evergreen and i can walk from my house and i said well i'm glad to hear yeah, that, that person did you talk to that uh, person that came over the other day her dad was world war ii or her grandfather was world war ii and she lives right behind oh yes yes that's so good. she helped us take down one of the flats oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so she, was, she wanted to yeah, she's so excited yeah she was it. yeah she was thrilled and is, you know, it's nice that all the abutters walk in there right. every day and they're thrilled that we have it in there. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad. So we do have a lot of people that walk in there now, which is great. And they, um, um yeah. so we have that little checkoff sheet. Do you want to go over the checkoff sheet first to make sure we have all? Yeah. So, right. okay. So we, uh, yeah, it should be right after the port of yeah. <laughs> which is the only thing we got to vote on today. So I um, already met with the Board of Selectmen, and it was in the Board of Selectmen packet. Yeah, and they're all on board. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And I met with the Howitch Police Department in the CERT team, and Rob was there as well. Um, so we're gonna, they're going to close off the uh, 1403, which is the Orleans Road e exit, or 30, right, and then come in from the um, Cemetery Road, 40 Cemetery Road entrance. Um, so they'll have, um, what are they called, horses? The yellow horses? Yeah. The DPW is dropping those off yeah. probably tomorrow. And then they got to give us orange cones. We're going to put orange cones on every water spigot because when people park, because they're brown, they might not see them. Yeah. So we were afraid that somebody might take one out. So uh, we're going to do that, and then we'll block <clears throat> off the road. But the CERT team will be directing people as they enter in from Cemetery Road. Um, to park going out, um, the people that are the general population will be going out on uh, 137. And then the other people will be going out on 39. So right. if somebody needed handicap parking, they'll be coming through around the circle and we'll be parking them down. Outbound. Yeah, outbound going out right. on the right. other direction. Yeah, that was um, Jim's idea. He said, you know, we can 
some so and so's funeral. They had forty some odd cars just oh, yeah. there alone. Yeah, parking all different ways. So we wanted to make sure that side, yeah. everyone's filtering out one way. Uh, we also um, Jeff Handler is going to lend us his golf cart. Um, the DPW is picking that up on Thursday, and they'll store it in the DPW barn. They're also coming here and picking up fifty chairs. And, and the band is bringing their own. And the band is bringing their mm -hmm. own. So they'll pick those up here on Thursday night. Also keep it in the heated highway barn because they're metal chairs. And I was like, it'll, they'll be too cold. <laughs> no one will be able to sit on them. So um, they'll bring. They'll be meeting me at 9 o'clock in the morning to set out the chairs and to make sure that all the roads are blocked off correctly. Mm -hmm. And then the CERT team, I think, comes at 930 mm -hmm. to start parking, parking people. Yeah, yeah so it's... It, um, that part, I think. Yeah, that's all set, and that's, yeah. they know what they're doing. Yeah, so so we'll so have the signs, the cones. We're not doing a tent. Thank goodness we are not calling for any rain. Yeah. We do the seats. Uh, the next thing on the list is the porta potties. Yeah, um, we have to vote on this. Yeah, so um, I did get an email from Peggy. She's on vacation, an actual. This here. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you look at the porta potties, they're giving it to us for a huge discount because it's for Veterans Day. This is a Harwich business, too. and this is a Harwich business on right. Queen Anne Road. Queen Anne so normally, um, it's called the weekend trailer, which is got two bathrooms and sink and uh, flushing and running water. Uh, it's all self-containing. It's normally fourteen hundred dollars. And they'll give it to us for six hundred dollars. They will come and set it up early in that morning, and then they'll come back later that day after the yeah. thing is over and take it away. And they're more stable. The youth can't mess with them, and, and they're yeah. they want to take it back. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So and the, it's very very uh, the, nice. Uh, so the it's... other one would be mm -hmm. the smaller porta potty, which is uh, the only reason why I would even think about getting one of these is because this one is ground level handicap accessible. <laughs> and they'll give us that for $150, and it's normally $300 for the day. So, so um, I think this is a one-time thing right. because of the, the potential size of, of, this, the event. of the event. Right. You know, in past years, we've never had a, we don't need porta potties right. at Island Pond. Yeah. <laughs> so... Because it's quick, the future, and the flags are already right. up. So in the future, we shouldn't, but we can address that. Yeah. Next November, I think we, after the after I think we probably will have to use these again when we have the dedication of the memorials, true. because that will be a big event. Right. It'll be right. the two hundred and fifty. Okay. So yeah. yeah, so I. So we may want to time that <laughs> to be off season. <laughs> yeah, I think she'll she would probably give us another deal because okay. we're a municipality. All right. So anyway, I mean, I'll make a motion just to keep things going that we uh, order one weekend trailer at six hundred dollars and one handicap accessible porta potty at one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Um, to be payable from our fund um, to um, ahead with class what in Harwich. Okay. So that'd be a total of seven fifty, and. I know we don't have a budget in front. I forgot to bring mine from last year, but last month. But, yeah. But we have. We have forty we some odd thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So Cindy, Second. Cindy second then. Yeah. Which makes it unanimous. Yes. Okay. So I got to send her back in. She's in Nashville, Tennessee. So I got to send her an email this morning so she makes sure she has her guys okay. good, ready to Great. go. Um. So. so porta potties. And porta potties. About the golf carts coming. The electric's been taken care of, and uh, Mark is doing the sound. Yeah. Um, programs. So I, I want to. When are we going to do? So this is the. I, I folded so, it uh, correctly. So this is the insert to the program. Yeah. We already mm -hmm. talked about the other one. Yeah. So Jen. So that's one, two yeah. sides. Yeah, so, so, so we have to print and assemble these. Right. Can we have? We yeah. have help to do it. Yep. Yeah. I will have help. I have actually. I have some volunteers. So. Oh. Um. Okay. So the. Uh, so Jen. Um, from the Council on Aging loves to do this type of stuff so she if we give her the text she can turn it into i always call it you always turn, make it look so pretty <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the fluff um, so for the other part of the, yeah that came out really nice yeah she really did so for job. the other part of the program if you can get me the names yep then either this afternoon when do you want to print these tomorrow okay because so, we're closed on friday the town is closed on friday okay 
So, we so have it to has to be all done and ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow has to be finished. So if you can get me the names, then okay. I'll stick them in the program, and then we ha then it, we have to kind of do a print preview to see if font mm -hmm. needs to be shrunk up. She'll do all that. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, so if you give me that. Well, yesterday I went crazy. I removed all of the formatting yeah. just so I could get the tabs to yeah. all work, and this is not what I do. Yeah, yeah. So if you <laughs> if you just give us the content, she'll she'll do them. Okay, list. then I'll. Yeah. Great. So you give me the names, and I will beam you. The most recent version. I mean, I've already, the one that this isn't the one I sent you yesterday, because okay. on my computer I've got. Okay. All, the Boy Scouts have been have replaced the Marine Corps okay. and all, all this other stuff. So send me the new version because I just printed that out from your last email. Maybe you didn't hit save on your computer. Oh gosh, that'd be nice. Okay, and so that way I have okay. it. Okay. Um, um, so it. Volunteers music. So I am going to have, um, we, she said a couple of the Boy Scouts can help us also hand out, if we need to, um, the flyers. I have a couple of my cheerleaders coming that will hand out flyers. And um, so I think we're covered with people, you know, giving people programs. Afterwards, we probably ought to, when everybody leaves, somebody's going to have, have to, to go police around. the grounds. Right. Yeah. Because we don't want to leave yeah. trash everywhere. And the music will be in the program. Yep. Um, so it is has already been in the Chronicle, Channel 18. Oh, yeah, I sat down with Channel 18 and did a little segment. And the channel formerly known as Channel 18. Oh, yeah, it's called <laughs> the, the Howard Channel. channel. <laughs> and did a segment on um, the event and mm -hmm. talked about it with Dinah, which um, is being aired right now. So that's great. Yeah. And what's her name just said? Jamie just She's told us volunteer. that she has her volunteer that's going to be videotaping the event, and then later we'll put that on our website. And what, ha what happened to the drone thing? Um, so Steve is coming with his drone. It is so silent, you can't even... Okay. I mean, you wouldn't even know it was there. It's very silent. Well, so, uh, Military-grade drone jail. That <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you go on, I'll, I'll give you the link to our... Um, the new website because he has a ton of drone footage on there now and it like goes through where all the lots are available and um it's so nice i just have to put in the data now of the lots that are sold but you click on it and it'll turn it red that it's sold so then if somebody goes there and they want to purchase oh, a lot that's very cool yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty nice all right i'm yeah. going to do number seven okay and okay this is the last chance to check you ready <laughs> survey says cold saturday windy 48 degrees um, well, i may not wear my leather jacket i may put on my big woolen one <laughs> <laughs> the wind is going to be gusting to 25 and it's going to be a pretty much when we're there a steady 48 degrees as the ceremony ends yeah burn yeah 20 miles, so, so it's almost like today. It's, it's today 41 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Going around today. All right, so we don't need a eight. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we voted on that. Any other? Uh, oh, I have a question. Okay. And, and if you don't want to discuss it now, mm -hmm. let me know. The, the cemetery by the water towers, there was nothing yeah. attached. You didn't want to do what we did at Bank Street there? Is it on somebody's private property? There is no. The Bank Street okay. burial. Yeah. So what prompted me to send the email to everybody was I was doing something for Ancestry and that gravesite popped up. I forget mm. the name of the person mm -hmm. that's there. I don't have with me. Yeah. <laughs> and in the photo is a gravestone. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, still claiming to be the new guy. I mean, I've never been there. I haven't. Either. And it's on Route 39 on the town property yeah. water tower. I don't want to yeah. go traipsing around and get the blue light special. What are you doing here <laughs> without an ID? So, sorry, seven day commissioner. <laughs> um, so, do we want to address that? Not so, today, but yeah. take a look at it. And so put on the next meeting. Yeah. So so next meeting, the line item would be explore um, a Bank Street <clears throat> restoration 
for the Route 39 cemetery. And there's a family associated with it. I just Is it Harding Ryder? Yes, that is correct. Oh, yeah. So you said, and you, you had said something about there's a story there, but there was nothing attached. I went, no, oh, we'll bring it up later. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I did see that. Okay. But it's like you knew something being our senior representative, <laughs> not in age. And, um, <laughs> and I know better than the... <laughs> so we do have... I always know the same stuff you did. Excuse me. We do have some bills, and we have a kind of an issue with one of the water bills that I we need to discuss. So um, I have, we have two Amazon bills, one's for 96, 98, which were the lights for the, so yeah. ironically, the lights we originally wanted were like $300 a piece. And <laughs> this for lights of four from Amazon was $96. So we saved money there. Um, well, a, that helps cover the uh, porta potties. Yeah. So then the uh, Amazon supplies, office supplies, I just needed more tabs for my, Civil War guys and Revolutionary War because I ran out of tabs because there's so many of them. That was $42. Uh, sod labor and circle stuff from Warren was $1,000. Then the Island Pond water was $165. South Howard, which was $45. Mount Pleasant building is $46.42. North Howard water is $95. And Mount Pleasant regular water in the other part of the cemetery is $94.20. But the one I want to discuss is the Pine Grove um, Cemetery. There you guys go. I get to put it on a separate one for you. Thanks. So um, normally the Pine Grove Cemetery is about 50 to max $75 every quarter. Um, <laughs> and this bill came in. It was $1,705.78. I had spoken to Jim. He had called Dan Pelletier previous to the bill coming out and said that when he opened up the pit to um, turn off the water, the entire pit was filled with water. So um, the PVC pipe had cracked. So Dan then sent me um, the water usage for... Uh, starting in July, where the water usage was at something like uh, 1380, and then it jumped up to 4,000 per day. <laughs> so it went from being all the way That's down crazy. here to going all the way up until they shut it off. And then does went, anybody monitor this? They do when they send out the bills, and any time that there's a bill that goes completely yeah. off the rails, uh, they notify the homeowner or they'll notify us. Mm -hmm. But we already notified them. We found it before they did. Yeah. So um, uh, so he had um, written to me, Dan did, and said, um, the data log from the 32 Pine Grove is attached. The water was turned off on 915 per Jim's request from the highway department. Uh, and then he wrote, he said, FYI is attached to the leak report. We did receive a call from Jim at the highway back in September due to the meter pit being full of water. So it appears that something is definitely going on down there that requires further investigation. So then he gave me the report. Then I put in a work order with the DPW, which Jim had already talked to them about. But then, uh, so the building and maintenance guys went out. Uh, they identified the repair, and I said, do it at ASAP. And um, what they did was uh, Paul did check and repaired the system that needs to be blown out, blown out from a leak. So they replaced all of the uh, PVC. So um, Dan had sent me an application to do an abatement form. So I am going to, with your recommendation, we'll fill out the abatement form and get on their agenda meeting to see if we can get the bill reduced. Um, normally, they do not do it if it's irrigation, um, but this was in our well pit, and we had yeah. no idea that it was leaking. Um, there was no water pooling anywhere. There was uh, nothing that has gone on. Um, a whole water bill for all the cemeteries for the entire year 
is eighteen hundred dollars, and this bill is seventeen hundred yeah. for one cemetery for yeah. one quarter. So. And in a situation like this, the water is not wasted to irrigation; it's just going back into the the right. aquifer. So. Yeah. It's not yeah. really lost. It's <laughs> Like so, when you evaporate. I, so I just wanted to have you guys to know and be aware okay. of um, right, what's so going on. This, so we need to approve these bills. Correct. And then we'll monitor the abatement. Yeah, so you, I just gave you those to keep. Yeah. But I'll be putting in an abatement for okay. this one, okay? That's great. So um, does somebody make a motion to approve the bills? So I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. So that's approved. Mm -hmm. Do I have to do blue? Uh, no, it can be anything. And then, but we do have a deed coming. <laughs> and we just have one deed. Uh, Frank and Mary Trimboli. I hope I'm saying it correctly. And Mount Pleasant. So I'm very excited about this. Everything seems to be coming together like this time last week. We were. Oh God, we yeah. have rules <laughs> in police families and military families. Don't talk about this stuff. Okay. Don't say, hey, have a good shift because you know it's not going to be now. <laughs> be safe out there. <laughs> we can all celebrate at noon on Saturday. <laughs> Pull up, clean it up, right? My, my daughter, if she's watching, will be cracking up right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's her rules. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. All right, so also for next meeting, why don't we um, plan on item C unless further information comes out? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need to think about this now, but first week of December. Harding Rider? Yeah, the, uh, yeah. the Route 39 Harding Rider. Mm. You know, either a little research or and, I can, and we can do we I can, can do take a tour. I can do research in advance. Yeah, I mean, it, maybe it's it's not touchable, yeah. but I I still think that if there's a stone there, then something needs to go there. Okay. Just to preserve yeah. and protect. Yeah. And I'm still waiting back. They are still giving us a price price quote for the Lothrop sign. Okay. And the. Um, so yeah, that's why that's minute. taking so long. But, and that's a different kind of sign. Yeah, because it's... 39, you, yeah. Well, see, you know, on 39, well, we can discuss it next month, but the brainstorm is if we have the big sign or the Bank Street sign, now well, you're advertising traffic to yeah, go yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And we maybe don't want no. that on a busy road no. and town property with a water tower and yeah. stuff. So, unless it maybe there's space to go in, horseshoe, mm -hmm. come out, and just pick up. So. Well, All right, any other business? Nope. Next meeting. Um, oh, I want to ask sorry. You, did our sign get fixed? No, I did call call them in. A, right. So she's going to have the guy that does the hanging of the sign, truck remove them, putting some stainless steel because right. obviously something was yeah. in wrong. Yeah. But yes, they're going to fix it. Right. Yes. Thank you. That was evergreen, right? Yes. Fancy sign. Okay. So December meeting. Before the holidays and hard to believe things get crazy. I know. <laughs> if we could do the second week, because we're all have surgery at the end of February. So, so what is the, the end of so the second week is eleventh, twelfth time frame? Yeah, so can we do the Wednesday or, or uh, no, we can't do a Wednesday, we can do Thursday. Because Wednesday usually um what's her name? Uh Dinah does her show in here. Oh, how do we get this one? Um, she didn't have one scheduled, so we snuck in. And, and it's a short week. And we're definitely off of a Tuesday schedule? Because Steve can't come on Tuesdays, because that's Kim's yeah. treatment. Day. So, oh, that's still going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do Thursday the 14th? Sure. And I'll verify that and make sure that that's... Uh, okay. Thursday, December 14th, 9 a.m. Okay, and um, can I have a motion to adjourn? Yeah. So moved at uh, oh, 9.50. Look at us. <laughs> Take notes, Steve. <laughs> and Cindy? Yes, second.